This is Kelly Dupree, host of Scoreboard on the Core Vision TV Network. We are here live at Lucky's Pub with my co-host, PSG. What it do? And my special guest, Slim Thug. What up with it? What's up, Slim Thug? How you feeling, man? I'm good. We in here. Man, you made it. You made it. Yeah, <laughs> made it. I'm glad you made it, man. Yes, man, before we get into the sports, I mean, just talk, talk about yourself, what you've been doing lately. Man, same stuff I've been doing, man. Underground music, independent albums, dropped the new album, The World Is Yours. Mm, uh, yeah. We did the Boss Life Vial recently, you know, doing the Boss Life Foundation thing. You know, just trying to keep it going. Yeah, see. getting them home, but yeah. man, no, you also ain't working with it. Yeah. yeah. All right, chill in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now we do, we do the South Zone. So I'm proud of my bro. I'm proud of my bro. What he doing? Matter of fact, we need to be, he need a house. So we gonna try to be a house. If you need a house, so he gonna try to be a house. Oh, yeah. We all have a house. Let's know about a house. Yeah, them houses are nice. That's real. That's real. But they have them gentlemen, though. Appreciate it. The world is yours. I was shocked and surprised. You got a soul Mercedes. He back with the one. You know what I'm saying? That's my right. dog. But uh, we're going to uh, talk some sports today, buddy. Yeah. You yeah. ready? I'm ready. Yeah. I think it's, so. I think so. <laughs> I, know you, I know you have something about the Rockets. So you got oh, some Rockets. input. He's he a nice town sports, sports for that. Yeah, I love our Houston team. Let's support our Houston team. All right. Well, our first topic is going to be about one of the premier NBA players, LeBron James. There's some talk. LeBron, LeBron James versus the Fox host. Oh, yeah. Laura Ingram. She has some, some real hard, well, I feel, comments about shut up and dribble. Commentary like, must they run their mouths like that? Unfortunately, a lot of kids and some adults take these ignorant comments seriously. Look, there might be a cautionary lesson in LeBron for kids. This is what happens when you attempt to leave high school a year early to join the NBA. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid a hundred million dollars a year to bounce a ball. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, you're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. Wow, I mean, shut up and dribble. I can't even believe that they let us say that in that manner, but, uh, with you being a young philanthropist coming up, what's your take on that first since you, you know? It's just really, man, since Trump been in office, man, it's been everybody just really been exposing themselves and coming out of the closet of how they really feel. I don't really look at it like, you know, it's trolls everywhere. In, in 2018, you gotta know that it's trolls everywhere. Every, every way you go, every way you look, somebody trying to get some attention and get some fame, you know what I'm saying, by hating or doing some pity or crumb or, anything, you know, for attention. I think that's just a fame game. She was just trying to get her, her clicks up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She knew what it was going to do. Yeah. She, she knew what it was going to do. She was going to get some she hits. She was going to get some hits. Some hits. Oh, my God. I get her name out there. Fame, man. That's how it is. You know, okay. A lot of this be a lot of, a lot of petty people just trying to get their numbers up and get more followers and, you know, all that, that press. Yeah. Strategic. And, 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 and what's so crazy, man, all she did was gave LeBron. LeBron already has a great platform. And he's all he's always been helping for years. But all she pretty much did was, to me, elevated him even more because he really speaks out. You know, if you think about the old athletes in the old days, they really wouldn't speak on certain topics. It was very few athletes. But when you have all the, all the NBA sticking together like that, you know, she need a slap in the face. That's for sure what she needed. <laughs> and what's so crazy to me in our community, if you think back five years ago, we used to like Trump. We thought Trump was lying because you know people, you know people put people because of money. Sometimes yeah. money, but you know we thought Trump was real. I mean, oh boy, he was, like, he was excited. He like, man, I met Trump. And if he meet him now, he probably would, you know, I won't right. say what he might do to him. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a deal? Can I get some money? No, no business. Nah, nah, he gonna slap. He gonna slap his two pay. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming to Slim Thug. See if I can get into business with him. That's why I'm here. Yeah, he, he he got a male strip club. <laughs> Club. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's the verdict's in, man. This may be a fan game. We'll be back after these messages. Bye. What's going on, man? This is Jack Freeman, and you're watching Core Vision TV. Welcome back to Scoreboard. I'm your host, Kid Lee Dupree, and we are all in it in regards to these sports debates. Douche. And whew, with the LeBron and Laura Ingram, 
it's, it's crazy with the fame game, but let's jump into this other NBA topic. Right? Some good stuff. Let's talk about some good. Some, yeah. some good juicy stuff. Yeah. Now, whew, just to spice things up with the All Star yeah. game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pause. Come on. Anyway, let's go. This is what we talking about with the new format. Yeah, the new format. Uh, the All Star game. The All Star, All-Star game been it's been trash for the last few years. Kind of like the Pro Bowl in NFL. Right. What you think about the new format with the Curry it was, version? It was real good. It was exciting. It was, you know, at first they kind of were like, oh, I don't know, are we really playing or not? But then as the game went on, you can see they really wanted to win. The team really wanted to win. So. I liked it. I liked it, man. It was a good game. I watched the whole thing, and it was to the last shot, so, you know, really? it was good, man. He's saying that, in other words, like, some stuff don't keep my attention that long. <laughs> so, right. You know, but I can't lie, right, man, the game, the game was off the chain, man. I'm mad, though, at heart. Why? Wow. He, he got, no, no, no. He was too nice. He played yeah. too nice. I know he didn't really want to get hurt, but he I guess. Right number one up here, huh? Yeah, we, we, are, we are number one right now, but I think he did. I think he was just like, Cause sometimes you know how you go play somebody and you just playing. Yeah. But they playing like For real. But they hurt you. Yeah. That's how the Bronx play. Everybody play like that. Everybody played like that. Everybody played like that. Everybody played like that. He played six signature dunk and everything. Yeah, yeah, but he and LeBron was playing hard, man. He, you know what I'm saying? He really well, wanted to take the team. I was on that. the team, though. So I love he had it. it, you know. That, that, that spiced up the format. And it was funny. The only funny thing about that is Westbrook was mad. At first, because he didn't know the names of the alphabet law. Uh, he thought he was the last one got picked. So, I, you know what I'm saying? He hit he, he, he a little slow like you. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love it too. What you think about it? Man, I love it. I love it, especially with, I told you, Steph Curry, James Harden. That's all we need. That's Man, true. Man, was that close. Just yeah. Steph Curry, what? Ugh, LeBron and the Bills. That, that, that was it. That was it. KD, man. Uh, who else they had about? Uh, Russell uh, Westbrook. Yeah, man. Uh, Kyrie. Damn it. Kyrie, like, come hey, on. Man, that was a squad, man. I ain't gonna lie. They had to win. They had to beat. I love the beat, though, man. They didn't have the shooters. You, they what did, you think about that? You like your beat for 50? Who? It beat Joe Ellis. It beat hard, man. You know Him and Westbrook gonna fight for the season, though. For the season, though. I can't wait about that. That would be nice. That was funny, though. He threw it about another block. Yeah. But hey, that, that's how the All Star Game. I think we would love to see another format or this format next year. Yeah, they say right. next year they're gonna they televise it or something. Yeah, they say next year they gonna have all the All Stars and they for the game they gonna all walk out hmm. and they gonna pick like on the court. That's Give me here. Give me here. That's gonna be loud. Yeah. Be we need to fix the dunk contest, though. Yeah, they not playing. Well, now they was cool. They did. Good. I mean, it's cool, but I wanted like in the old day we had. Donovan Mitchell, yeah. you know what I'm saying? LeBron need to Donovan be Mitchell. They need to be like how Dominique Wilkins and Al Lamar. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. You know, it's different nowadays. It was a big deal. Have you ever done? <laughs> no, no. <not, not, laughs> I have. I have the throw layups, Euro step. <laughs> Oh yeah, we, hey, we might have to do a little uh, one-on-one, me and SG, before <laughs> our, our season is over with too. Put that on, but put hey, that put that on the list of them. I play you one-on-one for that beer. <laughs> <laughs> for that beer. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? That, that's a good thought. That hey, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> this is June James checking in, and this is Core Vision TV. Welcome back to Scoreboard, and I'm your host, Kid Leader Pretty. And man, we're gonna stay on the topic of some uh, NBA topics here. Man, after the All-Star break, you saying James Harden was just chilling in the All-Star break. Maybe yeah, he's yeah. trying to save his energy. I hope so. The question is, will the Rockets make it to the NBA Finals? I think no. yes. yes. I'm Rockets. always right, but I'm, I'm just saying it every year, though. You know, I'm going to say that every <laughs> single year. I always, you know, root for the home team. And, uh, really, I like I like the Rockets this year, man. I really yeah. like them. I think they look, it's a good team. We, we got a very good chance. Is it something different, Bob? I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, the new players, you know, and I like how, you know, I think Chris Paul and um, Harden gelling in together. I like how they brought Jared Green back. Yeah, he's out here, you know what I'm saying? Houston. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's just a good look. I think we got some real good shooters, so. You know, I think. See this man, he's the biggest sport. See, you don't know, though. No. He don't know sport. <laughs> At the beginning of the season, I bring this up every time. Little Kiki, we had him on the Don Kiki. Don. Marcus Edwards, we had him sitting there. He said, "Man, CP3 ain't no good pickup. Man, man, CP3 has brought some OG leadership to the team." And I ain't gonna lie. Now we got 
another OG, Joe Johnson. Okay, yeah. He ain't gonna have to do too much. Like you say, Jerry, PJ talk about it. Yeah, Brandon yeah. Wright gonna be good off the bench. Gordon. I ain't gonna lie, Gordon is balling. He let me down in the three point contest, but we don't need him in that. We need him in the real three point contest. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, I, Clint Capella need to be win most improved player. Yeah. He do. He's he shining. Is He's he shining. is about. He, he is shining. about. He is about. Oh man, once so, we can get those guys most improved, they increase. Yeah, they all increase with CP3. So, we will see. CP3. Western yeah. Conference Finals. Rockets versus Golden State. I'm mad at the Rockets. Yeah, he, uh, CP3, I think he's a little mad about not being an All Star, too. So, so that's gonna, gonna be extra energy. Chip on his shoulder. Chip on his shoulder, giving boys a business. That's how he come to work. Yeah. Chip on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he he worked the size. He, you know, his bill won't grow like ours. You know what I'm saying? He's all about He's mad at his shame. He come to work mad. It's not a mad at him. Would you say that? Yeah, and put some marijuana in there. He's out. 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 He said like a chili. <laughs> Actually, but the first time I'm a man, uh, 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 are we going to break right here, nigga? Are we going to the next time? <laughs> I won't start crying and laughing no yet. Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's just go ahead and move on to to a commercial, all right? We're going to commercial. Don't worry about it. He's just talking. We're going to go to commercial. He just said three words. He can't say no more. Juicy and boot. I boot. <laughs> And we gonna beat him up live on camera. We'll be right back. Scoreboard kid need to bring Slim Dub. Uh, Bye. Your boy Boss and Joy, man. We rockin' with Core Vision TV. You did what I'm saying. Big Bad Boss and Huncho. Low talk. Welcome back to Scoreboard. Doosh. I'm Kid Little Free. And we Whoa. got the comedian right here, ESG. Bye. And we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna have some NFL talk now. There's some changes in the Texas roster. Finally. What are your thoughts about Brian Cushing's release? What do you think about that, Slim Dub? Man, I'm just hearing about it, but that's crazy. I mean, he's been around here for a minute. He put in a lot of work, but you know, I mean, we do got to make a few changes, man, if we want to make that move. I think that uh, we close to being one of those, you know what I'm saying, top team. You know, we got Deshaun. I definitely believe in him. You know, I'm, what's up with JJ? Though? What they say, why well, he ever going back or what? Yeah, he, JJ had. See, what this what happened. Did you hear what happened to JJ? What all happened to him? He, he came out of the locker room. He had 39 million in his pants to try to play. That's how he met him. So, you know, you know, you know, know trade the truth we're looking for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to trade the back. Hey, but the only. We need an eight star with a K. It's time for Brian Cushing to go, man. It's time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know, I hate. To, I'm not even gonna play the age card, but you gotta look at it. He'd been suspended three times for juicing up. Over 30 years old. But he, I'm just saying the juice. He can't play really without the juice. Last year he was suspended 10, 10 games. We didn't really need him. I ain't gonna lie though. You know, JJ White. I'm putting you on notice. The way Clown is playing. We know JJ saved Houston, you did this, you got a hundred million dollar deal. But for the last two years, we haven't seen you play. Production. So, and we haven't looked, our defense has still been good without you, JJ. So you better get healthy, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Lamar, I don't, I don't think Lamar, what's his name, Miller? Yeah, we gave all that money, I don't think Miller, I, I hope for him. Oh, running back? Yeah, I don't think Oh, he, he got somebody behind him. him too. Oh yeah, we love, oh, we yeah. love that. Yeah, he oh, hard, he oh, hard. Oh, so, yeah. And I think, um, what's his name, he needs to stay healthy. The wide receiver from Notre Dame. With the oh, trade. Two yeah, years. Will Fuller. Will Fuller got to stay up. He can't never stand on can't never stand the field. Other than that, I think we rolling, baby. Yeah, we we close uh you know, Jacksonville. But you we eat. close Texas. You ain't you eat. Well don't let me bust out these sleeves. Yeah, okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm there, I'm trying to tell you that on my own. Juice is out on my own. Boot it and bust out the sleep. He gave me I don't know. I don't know. Jesus, I don't know. He likes to bother that crowd. <laughs> so, Go yeah, ahead. man. I just said. When Brian Cushing's come from USC, he's a real good linebacker, but it's time for him to go. He's going up in age. Like he said, the juice. 
we just had to get a, a, something, something fresh in that linebacker core. And we, we had some- Mercer was young. a fool before he got hurt. It was a fool, he's still gonna be a fool. He still got some years on. We need, a, we need somebody to replace DeJuan Brown. We have no blocker for, Deshaun is a great athlete. He did all that with no blocker. We need, blocker. And, and first, second, third round, we need a great offensive lineman or either in the trade. Though. Yeah, maybe we can take something out of the Dallas book or just grab some linemen first in the first yeah. round. True. Maybe yeah, so, but, hey, that, I mean, that's our thoughts about Brian Cushion. I mean, we so, happy about the second round. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna make the playoffs. Me too. I always say that every year. I say we're gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I think we're looking good as far as Houston teams. You know, the Astros, we definitely pull that out. Boost them. I think we we good, though. We, I like that Tillman on the Rockets because I feel like he's going to go the extra mile to make us win. That's his boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Tell your boy I need one of them Bentley trucks. He gave you the eye. Tillman from Tillman, put your notice. When I go back to, um, when I go back to, um, what is it called? The Golden Nut. I'll be looking for you. I see Flip. You gave Flip one. I will be over there soon. I won't be one. So you gave Slim one first. I know Slim was the first one with one. Yes, yeah, he's always peeping some stuff out. Always yeah. on the ground, too. Bro. Let him watch the belly. He <laughs> always watch the belly. Always drive. We do have a great owner. Yeah. Tim about. Yeah, he would too. never say the thing that Bob and Mel say. You know, right. and, you know, <laughs> and, uh, that's yeah. 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 So, okay. you know, but we gonna leave that to another show. Right. Uh, so that's what it is. We Thank all you, agree. Christian. We all agree. Cushion should be gone, and we all agree that Texas will make the playoff next yeah. year. Yeah. So that's what it is, man. This, this the scoreboard we're right here, Core Vision Network, Kid Lee Dupree. We got uh -huh. Stay Thomas, uh -huh. Boss Hall out loud, slipped up. That one deal. We'll be right back. Bye. Uh -huh. I want to do my extra barber, Tommy Corn, and right now you're watching Core Vision TV. We're Tommy, baby. Hey, welcome back to Scoreboard. This is Kid Lee Dupree, and this segment we have some audience that have some real questions, some true questions they won't answer. Got this boy here, Rich. What's happening, man? So you got a question, man? What's your question? Yeah, I actually got two questions. If you know, I'm okay. asking you and the panelists up here, uh, your co-host uh -huh. and, and Mr. Snoop Dogg. First off, when uh, coming off the great All Star Weekend, Ooh. man, we got a couple hot rookies in the game right now: Taylor, Lonzo Ball, Donovan Mitchell, Ben Simmons. Who you think gonna take home that that championship? And also, man, man I want to know each and every one of you guys' favorite NBA players of all time and why. Okay, favorite NBA players. <laughs> right, let me get my answer. Okay, Allen Iverson. I, I, I wasn't okay. able to witness Michael Jordan play, so. Yeah. I rock with AI all day. Can you rookie of the year? Rookie of the year, Ben Simmons, of course. Nah, I'm missing with Australia. Huh? And there you go. <laughs> all right. He looked like Ben. He looked like Ben. That right, like he didn't look like AI. So I think he might be like his favorite people. AI and Ben on mix. I got to witness the Jordan era, you know, and Jordan was my Jordan to me is the greatest player of all time. But my favorite player of all time, Kobe Bryant, man. I had a Kobe Ooh. birthday. I had, I had a Kobe yeah. birthday. Hey, I'm such a Kobe fan. I had a Kobe birthday. Day. <laughs> Slim is laughing, but he has a son named Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> so he named his son after Kobe Bryant. Oh, hold on, hold on. I definitely didn't name my son after Kobe Bryant. That was like a, a bad baby mama thing. <laughs> Kobe Bryant definitely ain't my favorite player. I, I used the reason why. I, I mean, I don't hate Kobe. You know, in the sports world, I do. Right. But you know, I'm a Rockets fan. You know, so I would say my my favorite player. I want. You know, I would say Joy. You gotta get Joy, man. Ooh, okay. And then Akeem Olajuwon. Yo, that's that's Shay. That's one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> I seen that. You know, I seen the video for that's but real. uh That's real. rookies, man, I haven't been keeping up so much on them, man. You know, I see Ben doing his thing, uh Lonzo, you know, but I haven't been watching it to keep up. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. So they let they let Ben still mm -hmm. be the he didn't play a first season. Oh, they gonna do it like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I, yeah. All right. I feel you. I didn't his name is Rookie. I love Ben Simmons. Not your way, but I love Ben Simmons. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, the, the, way. the rookie of the year is Mitchell right now. Yes, they don't want to let them game straight. Then he won the dunk contest. He's the rookie of the year right now. Yeah. I, I ain't even see him play this year. Yeah. Popping off of me. Rookie of the year, Dog Mitchell. He's going to win that. He already won the slam dunk contest. The boy has some hops. Yeah. And my favorite player is going to be a King Lodge one, the Dream Shape. Watch out. I don't know about that. 9596. Nine, All about it. All right. So, yeah. Let's go with our next guest that has a question. What's your name, man? Uh, DJ King. 
Uh, all right. Middle was 50 bank on 494. I got a question about the rock. So uh, the Houston teams, we always do good regular season. Then when the postseason come around, playoffs come around, we don't do so good. So how far y'all think the rock is gonna make it in the playoffs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how far? We're going to make it, the Rockets. You talking to me? I'm talking to you. Oh. This year, we have leadership. The reason Chris Paul is so such a great addition, because see, last year, before the Spurs game, Harden was at the strip club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> see, this year, CP3 going to say, hey, what you doing? Man, I'm finna get ready to go to Carmen. No, you're not. <laughs> Stay at home. And that's the leadership, and you see it in right. the team right now. And then Dan Tony, man, I, you know, I'm a late fanatic, so Dan Tony used to coach us, and he used to just sit on the bench. But the, the, uh, Gerald Green, he got something to prove. CP3 had something to prove, never got a ring, wasn't an all star this year. Uh, uh, man, I was sending playing out of this world. Okay. Uh, Gordon, he had something to prove. Uh, Joe Johnson never got a ring, was right there. Man, we gonna man, we gonna put it out, man. We gonna all the way out. to the finals. Yeah, especially when you spent out the same yeah. curve and shoot like the way we shoot yesterday. I just hope curve look, curve shoot like that in the playoffs. I just don't want to go to the finals. I want to win the finals. So what? 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 Is, we gonna go to the finals or we gonna win the whole thing? Uh, we just gonna win if we go there. <laughs> Slim, how you feel, man? Like I say, I mean, I'm a ride with Houston. I'm going to say we're going to win every year. You know, that's what I say about every Houston team. Uh, I understand what he's saying. I seen it happen last year. Uh, the pressure came and, you know, dudes wasn't doing what they supposed to or normally do. You know what I'm saying? I think, like he say, with uh, having Chris Powell there, he going he gonna to be that dude to be in hard ear and the other dudes here and tell him, hey, man, look, come on with it. I think he's going to be the encouragement we need. You know, because it, it seemed like I was at a lot of those games, uh, when you know, in the playoffs, and it just seemed like it was chaos and it, it, like anxiety hit, you know what I'm saying, the team, and they just kind of like, you know, didn't want to be there. It kind of felt like, you know, they were like, oh, the pressure on, and they just thought, fuck, I think that we got Dan Tony and um, Chris, like he said, and I think that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah. Speaking of that, Troy, <laughs> your friend who's in the audience, manager, boss like Rico. He sent me a pic. He sent me a video yeah. of you missing them free throws. But, <laughs> but, but when, when the lights came on, exactly, you hit it right here. That's, that's exactly. Right that's right exactly right. what I told him. Hey, we did the practice shot for the uh, for the hey. giveaway. What is it for Castle or what it was? You got him ten dollars. It, it was for charity, charity, right? So I was like, I shot every practice shot I missed. Every practice shot. Every practice, every practice, every practice, every shot. practice shot I missed. I said, man, I ain't gonna shoot no more. When them lights come on, I'm gonna hit it. I that told him. That was my same it. thing. I told him. <laughs> I hit it. Boy, I was so happy, boy. Hey, man, that was a good day. Yeah. Good job, man. So you we need hard. You hit that hard. Under you pressure, need to you got to run to it, and, man. And, and whatever that contraption you had on your arm, we don't need you to bring that to the playoffs. <laughs> need that I little, think you got it. I, I, that little, I'm talking about that little, yeah. little, little, little <laughs> young thug bag. Leave that at home. <laughs> <laughs> we need your mind on the game. I don't need fashion shows. <laughs> <laughs> Business done. Yeah. Just like the Houston Astros. What is your business done? Right. Then we party. I'll party with you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll be back. This is bad. What's up, baby? It's that boy Paul Wall. What's your man, Willie Taylor? Yo, what's up? This is your boy B Sir. Oh, uh, y'all know this your boy Lil Runny Mother L. What's up, man? It's your boy Chris. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I am Jess Brittany. If you don't know, this trade the true king of the streets. You rocking with Core Vision TV. We here. Let's get it ace time. Let's the beast. Welcome back to Scoreboard. I'm your host, Kid Lee Dupree. And at the end of the show, we got all this the shoot around. Uh, this is what we talk about. What we want to talk about. You want to talk about? Right? So we're gonna go with anything. Anything. We're gonna go with Slim Thuggy. See what how you feel, man. You know what I'm saying? Anything about your mind? Just off the dome. Just go. What's on my mind? I'm stressed out right now, so I ain't got nothing good to talk about. Hey, life too good. Life ain't always. More money, more problems. Yeah, more money, more problems. Exactly. But now, I mean, 
I mean, what are we gonna talk about? He, y'all pick. It's not your business. Hustle fit. What's up with hustle fit, man? I'm in the gym five days a week, man. I mess up five days a week. I don't diet. I, I eat meal press from B Fit food. I eat them B-fit? most of the time. You know, like uh, that's how. That's my thing. I'm not perfect. I don't want a six. I ain't gonna say I don't want one. I can't. I ain't gonna be that dedicated to have a whole six pack. You know what I'm saying? I might do it just to reach that level, but you gotta kind of eat paper and be obsessed. You know what I'm saying to to maintain the six pack, and I ain't that serious. I love food. I need your paper. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you good. You can lose. You can lose a lot of weight. You can lose. You can use more to pay the bill. Food because it got a little taste to it. You know, it ain't. It ain't. You know, you can get some Korean beef, macaroni and cheese. You know, and the beef loaf, turkey beef loaf, like so. I suggest you start that. It's right there on Main, so you can just scoop it. I eat it. I, 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 I eat turkey burgers. I don't want to eat red meat, but no, I, what, see, I, I, I think, I think you think I think you think you eat healthy, but you ain't. Like you talking right. about Chick Fil A, you talking about burgers and that's bread. Food. That's that's yeah, a big part of all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, my, my wife, she's super healthy. We eat. We I just be messing up. Yeah. I, I gotta have a dessert. You know that's yeah, why yeah, I'm that's me. That's that's me. That's all it is. But at the same time, though. It's it's uh it's healthy uh snacks though, you know what I'm saying? That ain't horrible, you know. Okay. You could throw it in a microwave, it tastes like a brownie, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't gonna be that. It ain't gonna be hey, what you want, but and you, you know, know why I wouldn't listen to him? Because I know what he gave me. <laughs> exactly. I remember the exactly. fat dugger, the fat dugger. He posted exactly. the fat dugger the other day. Right. So hold up, hold up, he gonna store it for y'all, he gonna store it for y'all. <laughs> we was on the road, yeah. Slim, we was at Ryan Steakhouse or Ryan something. They Ryan had a buffet. Boy. Yeah. That boy used to have. 12 pancakes. I just right. be like, man, I really, but so I am shocked and amazed that this boy made so the day. So, so that's why I would listen to him, I believe. I got to work on five days a week to keep it. Out here, want the pancake. Oh, he want all sausage. Anyway, <laughs> man, give, me, give me the tuna, the raw protein, the I'm trying to get the date my first day of my diet, nigga, so y'all gonna see my transformation. But it's a shoot This right. boy love beef. Hey, and man. it's time to go home. Steak. Steak. I might be joining. You slipped up. John slipped up with the. You don't need a new way. You don't need a new way. Five days a week. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna see this. Give us a couple months. Keep on staying anyway. tuned to scoreboard. No. And you're gonna see this body fit. It's just gonna get bigger and bigger in regards to fitness. <laughs> Squats. Fitness. I can do squats. <laughs> anyway, that's what you do, squats. No, you. For my no one of his little bodies is big up. Hey, hey, for my uh, for my for my thing on the shoot around, uh, I'm an avid watcher of the news. I record the news 6 a.m., 4 like p.m., 5 p.m. Mm. And I watch the news all the time. No, I record. You record it all. Yeah, I, I always record. I, I got to go back and watch the news. That's just me, cause I got that from my mom. But what I'm saying every day, somebody's getting killed or murdered in Houston. And it is so crazy to me that our young society and our kids, man, my son, uh, 17, your son, 17, 16. 16. And it's like, I try to shield him and keep him away from the violence, man. But listen, you youngsters out there, man, we are rapping, this is entertainment, this is what we went through to get to where we at today. Hey, we are not walking around with guns killing people. So exactly. just cause your favorite rapper is rapping about that, man, wake up and you know, and, 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 and listen, you know, don't just be crash dummies out there. I see a lot of my youngsters being crash dummies exactly. and winding up so many people that's locked up right now with life and all this time and they're only 19, 21 years old. Mm-hmm. Wake up out there, America. Right, man, cause Shoot you can around. get a, you know, you in here, I understand it's tough out here. It's tough for everybody, even me, everybody going through it. You know, like you, about everybody it. I talk to is going through something. And uh, you know, don't let the moment, you know what I'm saying, ruin your come up. You know, your day might be this year or next year. You know, it might not be right now when you want it, but don't end up doing 25 years trying to steal two thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Cause your life is valued way more than that. You can go get a job at McDonald's and make twenty five thousand in yeah. one year. You know what I'm saying? Like understand that that your life is valuable and these little short little come ups. I ain't worth the time that these people are giving for that, man. Not at all. You might miss your, you might miss your chance to come up doing some dumb stuff, trying to rush your come up and be in jail 25 years, and you could have been like, like me. We ain't know we was gonna come up. We ain't know we was gonna do this in the rap game. Our day came, you know what I'm saying? And don't tell them when your day gonna come. And the reason what made me say that I have a because a man got a scholarship, started cornerback. Uh, I won't even say the college he was at, but. A guy, he tried to hustle at his college and he wound up shooting somebody. 
in the, in, the, in, the, in the penitentiary, in the law stand. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you don't know where you could have been. You could have been the next level. So just out there, you know, playing, huh? just, just, you know, that's just some words we want to give y'all for the shoot around. Key need to preach. Man. What you got? What I got is uh, some NASCAR subject. Oh, I told you to say Nobody in here, but you. <laughs> hey, Daytona 500, man, it was close. The second runner, up not to talk about the one, the second runner up, uh, they called Bubba Wallace Jr. Uh, I think it's Daryl Wallace Jr. Man, it was an emotional press conference. Just, just being in that, that standing, first, second, third in the Daytona 500. I know, like, what? Nah, I'm doing the emoji. What's that emoji? <laughs> like, Daytona 500, yeah, man. Like, that, that was big, big ups to the bubble. Hey, it's cool. That's it's cool. Mike is a sponsor from NASCAR. For real, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I mean, tell hey. everybody about the app they need to download. Yeah, download Core Media. Bye. Do you got it, Core Media? Of course I got it. Most definitely. Get it. Whoa. You download it too. Slip, slip, slip. Download that. Everybody, download Core Media. Also, follow us on the social media sites on CDTV Network. Bye. It's big. Right. We always gonna uh, get bigger. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, 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 go, you have to go to the website to subscribe to the channel. We got so much stuff on there, so many shows. And uh, tell everybody where they can find you at if they need to get to Slim Thug on Instagram. You know, that's what I'm mainly on every single day. 77% uh, my phone say is on Instagram. <laughs> so check me out to be updated on what I got Bass. going on. The world is yours, album is out. If you ain't heard it, go check it out. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is. Keep it free. I'm at Lucky Pup. Woo! And we out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Perfect.